Hello students, this is a quick demonstration on creating working drawings in Inventor. First thing that you need to do is you need to go ahead and go to your teacher's class files and make sure that you are getting the appropriate IDW file. IDW is Inventor Drawing File. For this class it will be the IAE Warrant A template which I have in the McCabe class files. So I'm going to go ahead and open this file up. We will edit this file, uh, create the different views and annotation needed for this project. First thing that we want to look at, um, the name part down here, file name, that will automatically get updated. Date will also automatically get updated. Scale and period we will add in here in a second. Um, just an overview of this uh, IDW file. We have base, projected, also annotate. These are the ones that we're going to use for this project. So the first thing I want to do is I want to click on base. And when I do that, I get this drawing view box that pops up. I need to choose a file. So go over here and I'll click on this open existing file button. And I need to uh, navigate to where I'm save, been saving my parts. And for me, I have them in my Dropbox. You will have them in your U drive. So the first thing uh, that I'll bring in here is this front hood part. So I'm going to open that up. Now, a couple things that I want to look at. I want to make sure that my scale is still one to one. And then I need to choose the proper view orientation. Now here it says front, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that is the correct front view. I'll show you what that means. So this might be the front of the car, but this is not the proper front view for a multi-view drawing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring my cursor back over here and I'm going to toggle through these different orientations to see if which one is going to be my proper front view. This is not correct. Nope, no good. This one looks like it'll work. Again, the, the proper front view will have the largest dimension as the width and it will have the least amount of hidden lines in your top or right side view. So now to place this, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the screen. And you can see there that that's a proper front view with all the lines. Next, I can take my cursor straight up and click. Inventor places that rectangle around where the view is to create a placeholder. I'll come back down to where the front view is, slide out here to the right, click again, you can see another placeholder. And then if you have enough room, you can come up here and create an isometric. So I'll click to place that. Now I'm done. I've created my front, top, right, and an isometric. I need to right click and then choose create. And Inventor will go ahead and it will create those three additional views. So there we go. Hidden lines are already placed. Isometric, we'll change that in a second. You can see here, hidden lines, angled lines, all that stuff is already done for you. Also, take a look at uh, down here at the bottom. Name, this part was made by Mr. Green. That is already in here. Whatever he saved the file as, front hood one, that's what goes here in the file name. The date that the part was created goes down here at the bottom. And we need to update the scale and the period. In order to do that, go over here to the model browser. And right here where it says WTHS IED, I'm going to hit that plus sign. And this, all this stuff here is called field text. So if I double click the field text, I can see that for period, there's nothing there. So for my case, this is six period. The scale, this is full scale, so it's one to one. And now I can hit OK, and it automatically goes in there, and I'm good to go. So now the next thing I need to do is I need to rename this sheet. So over here again in the model browser, I can slow click, so click once wait a second and click again and now I can edit what this sheet is called and I'm just going to call this what the part name is so this is going to be the front hood so now it's very easy to navigate between the different sheets because they're all named according to what file is on them so now this is good to go um, you can we'll come back in we'll create dimensions here in a minute um, but I want to show you how to go ahead and create another sheet because right now you're going to have one IDW file that will contain multiple sheets. One sheet for every part that you create. So we'll go up here and on the Place Views tab, 
I can click New Sheet. And now I don't need to, to edit the field text because I can go ahead and put that in here. So this is period six. And I know that I'm going to bring in a drawing that has a scale of one to one. And I can hit OK. And now here's my saying, here's a brand new sheet. If I look over here at my model browser, it just says Front Hood 2. This is the one I'm currently working on. If I need to go back to the first one, I can just double click on that name and you can see all that stuff is still there. So let's go back to our new sheet. And again, same, same protocol as before. Click on base. We need to find a, a file that we need to bring in here. Uh, let's see, what's a good part? Let's bring in the rear hood. Click open. Again, my scale is one to one. This is an acceptable front view for what I'm working with. So I can click to place that. Fro uh, the top, now the right, here's an isometric. Right click to create, and there we go. Hidden lines, everything is all set up. Now, if you need to edit or change any of these views, you take your cursor and you start to move towards the view you want to edit and you get the red dots. So if I need to move this around to make sure that I have good spacing all around here, then I go, go towards it, get the red dots, and then click to move. If I want to add shading to my isometric, red dots, right click, choose edit view. And now that I have the uh, drawing view box up again, I can come down here to the lower right hand corner and change the style to shade it. Hit OK, and now I've got the colors that I've chosen before. Don't forget to make sure that you change the sheet name to match the name of the part. So this is the rear hood. And then the last thing you need to do is you need to go to the annotate tab and hit dimension, and you can go ahead and start to apply your dimensions using the dimensions dimensioning guidelines that we talked about during the AutoCAD unit. Place a couple here. Got all my width dimensions. Got my height dimensions. And now I've got my depth. And you will have three views. And if there's enough room, an isometric for every sheet, you will also have dimensions on every sheet. This concludes the how to create working drawings tutorial.